Welcome to Radio Bandland, and uh, part of the agenda is to get comments from bands who blew the roof off last year at Bandland 2023 in Bangalore. Well, they are homies, hometown boys for Bangaloreans, and Parvaz had to do it. Come to their homegrown festival, Bandland 2023, and really blow everybody off with an absolute packed house at the Embassy Riding School last year. Khalid from the band joins me. Hi, Khalid, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, it's, it's been a few months, but I want you to share memories of that wonderful, wonderful day you played at Bandland in Bangalore. Uh, I think it was a great experience. I think uh, one of the best festivals we have played and one of the best uh, festivals uh, in terms of organization, how it was organized. And uh, finally, uh, uh, you know, uh, a festival where there are just bands and uh, one act plays, another gets started. So it was a wonderful experience. No DJs, no computers on stage, just guitars. Everything's been played live. That was a, a fantastic experience we had. I went on a discovery tour because I hadn't heard War on Drugs uh-huh. and Amel and the Sniffers. And, you know, now I've really got hooked on to them, courtesy mm-hmm. Bandland. And, of course, Deep Purple I had seen before, but it's never enough. So Absolutely. what about the other bands on view? Uh, you must have seen Purple before, but... You know, they're, they're really no, the I have, for, for Like, uh, they have uh, been to India before many times, but this was my first experience and it was f- mind-blowing. Uh, like, at this age, being able to do it, I think, uh, was a learning experience, like how these people are able to do at this age and uh, the energy and everything is, like, uh, on point. Mat- uh, I mean, our energy is not that much, and they are able to do that at that stage. Uh, War on Drugs, I've heard before, and it was fantastic to watch them live. And uh, of course, uh, Goo Goo Dolls and uh, especially F-16s, uh, as we keep searching, other bands who played there, the Earth Below, a fantastic lineup. Yeah. And, you know, it's so needed. It's almost like coming home and music like feels like home because there's it's like uh, the Thumbel and the Quarter guys were saying, there's no festival for bands. You yeah. find singer-songwriters everywhere, solo singer-songwriters everywhere. Yeah. And just the feeling of especially for some of us old school people who grew up listening to bands. Mm. I think the experience is just lovely. You must be looking forward to this year. It's uh, their moving location. Mm. It's at Nice Grounds, which is in Tumkur. Mm. Uh, are you going to be in town uh, around about that time? Absolutely, absolutely. Like, I'll try my best to be there. I like uh, Extreme is coming, Evan Sevenfold is coming, and a lot of uh, other indie acts from India as well. So I'm really looking forward to uh, watch them live. Extreme, like, I've been here, I've... Yeah, of course, like we grew up listening to like a lot of classic rock. So that's one of the bands we heard when we were young. And and it especially, I think like uh, now what's happening in India and especially is like a lot of international bands are coming down here and uh, you don't have to travel abroad to watch them live, go, go you know. So it's, it's a great feeling. You know, equally true for Parvaz, when a hard rocking mm. band does a really soft acoustic version, like mm. I've seen versions of you guys doing your stuff acoustic, yeah. it just sounds so beautiful. And when I listen to extreme, one end mm. is wholehearted and get the funk out and the other extreme is more than words. Oh yeah. You know, and a rock band going acoustic is so beautiful, isn't it? I mean, like, uh, it's uh, great to have dynamics in your sound. Like you can't keep uh, be hitting hard every time. You need to have, sometimes you're like a little bit sober and you write those kind of songs, uh, those kind of melodies and all. Yeah, it's great to have a dynamic set. And uh, have you heard enough of Wayne Sevenfold, the American band? I mean, they are yes the big choruses. That's what I love about them. <laughs> yeah, I like when I was growing up. Yeah, that's what was playing in college, college uh, times. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also want to get your comments, Khalid, on a couple of British bands. If you've uh-huh. heard them, great. There's one called Everything Everything. This is from Manchester, which is Oasis's mm-hmm. hometown, mm-hmm. and uh, the, a band called Big Special, which is uh, which is again from England. Have you heard them? Mm-hmm. Heard a I haven't them? heard them, but see, uh, that's the beauty of the festival, like uh, Bandland. They get uh, international acts uh, which we haven't heard. So when you go there, uh, maybe uh, you go it for Extreme or you go Five and Seven Fold, but like uh, you get to hear other uh, music as well, which is. Amazing. That's the beauty of the festival. You get to hear other great music as well. And Khaled, there's a band from Beirut in Lebanon, you know. Beirut used to be called the Paris of the East. Till unfortunately, you know, war changed everything. They're called the Wanton Bishops. And, uh, you know, I've been reading up on them. I've been trying to listen to some of their stuff. They're amazing, yeah. I think uh, Sorasma did something with them when yeah, the tourist correct. was happening, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Those are the ones. Yeah, it'll be great to watch them as well. Yeah, Super. two guys. Yeah, 
<laughs> and and the indian department this time is represented by zero the good old school of course bombay rockers of warren course. is such a maestro on the guitar of, no of course of course like uh, he's a he's a uh, i mean like one of the biggest inspirations if you see in terms of guitar playing in this country like you hardly you have so many guitar players but he's one of the greatest from this country that has come out yeah and sid sid kuto is another very interesting guy multi instrumentalist great singer songwriter yeah person who plays in a lot of bands and like it, it's it's going to be great to uh, see zero as well i saw them last time uh, in independence rock so yeah i'm going to see them again you know the one notable exception is satej mm. singh who mm. actually you would think is a solo artist because he's a such a great guitar player yeah but he's coming <clears throat> with his band absolutely my god it's so amazing that a uh, boy from solan in himachal pradesh such a small town is making such i mean you listen to steve vai and all these great guitar gods mm-hmm. and satej is doing that i'd like your comment on satej i mean he's a uh, i know him uh, satej is a really nice guitar player very wonderful and like coming from that uh, uh, town and uh, having inspirations which are uh, quite international and like making such kind of a music i mean it's great uh, to have him on board for this as i've seen him in uh, uh, bangalore last time when he was here playing so it was fantastic and uh, his solo playing is also really great now let's talk a little bit about parvaz mm-hmm. fans are are clamoring and fans must be all over your social media feed mm-hmm. asking you when the next ep or album is i mean there hasn't been one since what 2019 yeah 2019 was the last time when we re- released kun yeah. and uh, unfortunately what happened is that covid came back we couldn't uh, do the tour and everything but like uh, whatever happens happens for good like uh, we almost done with like uh, the recording part of the new album it's going to come out very very soon we are also very excited quite bored of playing old songs again and again but like <laughs> now we want to create a fresh set with fresh new set of songs well my i i love the kon album and even as a prelude to this interview i was mm. listening to soeja mm. and mastan mm. mm. you know just such fabulous songs yeah, i'm i'm intrigued to know that you live in a city a bangalore where mm. people don't know kashmiri mm. uh, they barely know hindi and urdu mm. Mm. but you're able to express yourself so beautifully and fans come and pack it in for parvaz shows uh, what I, does that prove <laughs> i think uh, that proves like uh, music has no language it's uh, beyond b- b- boundaries and like people love us uh, because of uh, the kind of uh, soundscape songs we make and uh, that's about it they ask us for the uh, meanings of the songs but like uh, especially in bangalore i feel like growing up here like i've everything what i've learned musically i think it has come from the city and the friends i have met other musicians i have seen uh, and uh, people wel- welcomed us uh, with like big hearts and if uh, i i feel if you do something very honestly and like it it transposes to, to other people you know i know you you have been involved in the music so you can see the evolution from uh, baran to to mm. uh, kun mm. but a lot of fans still go back and say oh my god you know beparwa what a song mm. apki yeah. subah what a song yeah. and even in concerts people are yelling out for those old ones yeah. you know yeah uh, and th- that must be a special experience that you know uh, even though you are you are changing dynamically in terms of sound mm, mm. they still want the old stuff also of course of course like uh, uh, it's it's like if, uh, it's for every band i feel like they make their songs they become uh, people like them then they start hitting that song uh, i still feel like uh, yes we do play these uh, those songs uh, and uh, what we try to do is that we try to make the live versions a different uh, a different kind of a version when we play it live so it's fun for us as well to play but it's an overwhelming experience at least people know our songs <laughs> khalid okay. i hope i hope with the new album you're going to be releasing more videos because to me the video for color white is so beautiful Yeah, you know, with the snow and you know playing in the snow and things like that. Mm-hmm. Was that Kashmir where you shot? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was sh- shot in uh, Gulmarg in Kashmir. So tell me a little bit about that. I know it's been about seven, eight years now, but I mean, you, uh, you must uh, have memories of it. Yeah. Uh, back then, when uh, me and Kashif uh, thought about this uh, uh, concept of uh, this song, so as the song name was Color White. thematically we thought like why not uh, you know sh- shoot it in kashmir and uh, luckily we got lucky that when we went to shoot it snowed uh, the next day we went and uh, yeah we had that video roaming around here and there but like luckily it was so cold it was done in minus like 7 8 degrees 10 degrees we had to so every time we went out to shoot to do a shot 
you know, within 10 minutes, we have to get inside the hut, warm ourselves, go out. It was that cold, but yeah, it was a great experience. Wow. And uh, is is the director of the video a friend of yours? Yeah, yeah. Gokul. Yeah. I, 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 the director was like, uh, we had f- help. We had help from friends and other things, but uh, I think Kashif uh, and me only like figured out. and uh, the, the storyboard uh, and everything. The yeah. storyboard and everything and Sachin edited it, the drama. Also, you know, uh, artwork is so important for fans of the band. And mm. Baran, Baran had a very simple one. It had an umbrella. Yeah. yeah. But Kun was really a top shot of a dessert. And if you could mm. explain it to me, because I find it very intriguing. I mean, uh, uh, cover arts have always been a, a, a thing for us and for lot, for every artist. Like, it, you know, I, I feel like when I go to a, a, a store, if I look at the album cover art, even if I don't know the artist, if it's something interests me, I'll just pick that pick up that CD or uh, cassette or vinyl and just go home with that. So I feel like it it had a meaning, like uh, Kun means B, B. So it had that uh, kind of an artwork where everybody is like looking towards one black hole, which is in center. That's where we all go once. That's where we all go. Very well yeah. said. Yeah. Uh, when is the next gig? Are you gigging in September somewhere? Yeah, we are heading to uh, the Sundowner Festival in Delhi. And then we play uh, Zero this month. Ah, so Dhyanchan Stadium in Delhi, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, correct. Yeah, exactly. That one. And then, and then you go and Z- play the Zero Festival. The that Zero Festival, be, yeah. Playing in the Northeast must be heaven for you, isn't it? I mean, I think this is a passion uh, the, they have. Absolutely. This is the first time we are going to that site. Like before that, uh, uh, we hardly, we haven't played uh, many shows. One or other college shows we have played. We went to N7 Weekend, which happened in Shillong. But Arunachal is the first time. So I'm, we are really looking forward to it. Love and it. I have heard so, heard so many good things about Zero. Lovely. Look forward to meeting you in person uh, very soon, Khalid. Absolutely. Thank you for this. Thank you for this Absol- chat. I value Absolutely. your time. I know Absolutely. you're busy recording the new album, but you still took time. No, off. that that is yeah. done. That the bad part is done. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank yeah. you. Ninety-four point three Radio One.